there's an authenticity in wearing certain things that fit who you are. And there's an incongruent, when there's an incongruency, you don't look right. And so you as a stylist is looking at, you're looking at people and you're feeling what they, what they represent, what you're trying to communicate, but you're trying to enhance the aspects of their personality that you feel is what fits. Because when there's any inconsistency, people, mm, it's a weird thing um, about when I, when I talk about in, inconsistency, a lot of times it's being read as deceptiveness because mm. you, 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 you're not really decisive. So why are you not being decisive? Then you're deceptive and deceptive. It, it feels dangerous because it's unknown and un, and dangerous. If you're, is, is unsafe and unsafe is, I got to get the, unattractive, right? Yep. Yeah. To especially the same for to, women. Unless she's an abusive woman and she's looking for this and she's keying into the fact that this motherfucker is not, doesn't have real balance. And that's what she's looking for, looking for that abuse because it, she can see those cues too. So it's interesting, you know, when you talk about designing and that, and, and that you're, create, you're communicating through garments and clothes, you know? Yeah, I, and I think that, um, I think for men, especially uh, heterosexual men, I think they sometimes don't realize how important that their presentation actually is and how much of a difference that this sort of confidence will, will actually have an effect on everything in their life. Um, right, right. When I typically, like, um, so like at a former job, you know, I was appointment-based and it was a really big company. And you would come in and, like, we would have a 20-minute conversation about who you were as a person. And the things I would ask you was, do you like sports? Do you, you know, what movies do you watch? What do you do in your free time? And they're like, why? And I'm like, because all of this is me figuring out who the fuck you are. Right. Because I, I look sickening. Oh, right. I look fabulous. But I don't want to dress you how I dress because I know how I dress. And I right. know what I want to represent. I want to make sure that I'm figuring out who you are and we work together to, fig to um, construct a wardrobe that represents you in the correct way so that you can put your best foot forward uh in a relationship and you can put your best foot forward when you're going out in the dating scene yeah uh, i mean i i i've like it's weird because uh, I, I mean I, you don't know who i you don't know me but i mean i i stay with a fur coat like i'll do a baby i got a baby blue a baby blue fox three-quarter fox that i wear and but there's a level of confidence that you have to have in order to wear it. You know yes. what I mean? It, you, yes. you can't feel, un I don't feel uncomfortable in it. Even if I've, I've come in and to come into a comedy club and they were like, and, they be, and I go, yeah, what's, what's the matter? Man, you got a coat. You got, and I'm, yeah, I know I have a coat. Yeah. And then it's like, well, but it's blue. And I, and I'm like, yeah. And then they just go, oh, okay, I guess, I guess he's comfortable with it. I guess we'll move on. You know? It's why I also don't, I don't really believe in the phrases of like fashion faux pas because I don't really think there is a fashion faux pas. You can wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. Yeah. I see people walking down the street with like bright orange shirts with yellow pants and, and bright red cowboy boots. And I go, man, I would never wear that. But right, like right. this motherfucker is so goddamn confident right, walking right. down the street. So he, therefore he looks great. Uh, how, I think a lot of fashion, people. Hmm. How fashion minded is it that, that people take those kind of risks, those kind of fashion risks. Like, you, I'm saying, so when you see somebody with, a, with orange pants and a yellow cowboy boots and, and a pink shirt and they're wearing this with a jacket and they're walking with that, isn't that the thing that where people go, man, like, yo, is this, is this a, it becomes a fashion statement. It almost, if people accept it, it actually becomes a standard. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I think that it's it also still correlates to what your personality is and who you are. Because if you are someone that's a little bit more subdued, I don't think that you're representing yourself if you're out here wearing that. Because that's not yeah. who you are. Right, um, right. You know, I I don't. I know that in fashion, it's really important to like that you have fashion trends and things like that. Because everything does change. It's like this is in the moment right now. This is in the mm -hmm. moment. And I'm a big believer of classic things for everybody with your bursts of personality uh, infused into that. Because right. it's just, I, I don't see the point in dressing trendy because I think it's just counterproductive because eventually that trend will end. Um, but I, I, I try to tell people to not necessarily get their inspiration from other people they see. I don't mind saying like, hey, 
who's your what's your favorite movie right, character right. you know yeah, yeah. so yeah. we can get little hints of it it's always james bond always yeah. james bond everyone it's always, always says bond. everyone yeah. always says that They're like oh i'm gonna look like james bond favorite i was like movie? Well, well, like movie inspiration for your fashion. Uh, they say James Bond all the time. And I'm like, well, honey, like who, you don't look like Daniel Craig, like? but uh, but we'll yeah. we'll take little bits of that and I'll figure out who you are based off of that and we'll work together. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.